ruled by communication like especially we are discussing about the electronic communication system so it's like a first what mean by communication will define the world because this will be very often i'll be using it so it's like a the transfer of information from one place to another place transfer of information from one place to another place what is the information so what is the basically information means here information means speech music video nowadays we call text images everything will come into picture what we discuss is only speech and video speech and music here the our syllabus if you go for the television broadcasting it will be video and if you go for email sms they will come text <coughs> and if you look at the modern whatsapp no so images all will come this one so we are just somewhere looks so like 70 80 years back where the radio communication so these two will be different will co correspond for radio communication so what is the radio broadcasting so different types are there first radio broadcasting example amplitude am am amplitude modulated i think i'll, I'll write like a will make a block diagram first in the radio broadcasting what is this amplitude modulated amplitude spelling okay amplitude modulated broadcast amplitude modulated wave broadcasting so then next year frequency modulated so what includes radio only speech and music fm fm will will you also see video or only you are going to hear the voice as well as music no there will you see any images text nothing is there no that's what happens in the frequency in short it is called as am wave am broadcasting this is called as fm broadcasting then again there is broadcasting we have speech television if you look at the television so what all is included uh, everything no nowadays nowadays everything is there in television what when we are able to see the speech music video text images everything is brought here total total information the next again if you look at the mail sms mails that one so here what is this what is this this is a text text that one text broadcasting will say so what are the examples of this this will be sms then mails in the mails again the images also will be there okay fine so these are the Okay, this will be text, broadcasting, SMS will be mail. So we are our syllabus is only we are just going to discuss amplitude, modulation, broadcasting, only FM, just a theoretical idea. Not therefore syllabus also just like comparison, we are going to do all this not needed here. That one.
the television, all that, the, the higher things. Okay, let, let's not go for that. So we'll come for this amplitude modulated wave. We are going. So before that, what is that overall communication system? What it is made up of? So let, let, I'm discussing only our syllabus is what amplitude modulation. So I'll begin like this. In syllabus, the remaining all what pen we are not going to focus on that one. Okay, don't bother that. Okay, first the communication system. What, what actually <coughs> it will be? So let, let's radio broadcasting we are discussing now. So therefore, I will start with the person. So there'll be a mic. So here, what do we get? The person will speak. So what that mic does, it will convert mechanical sound wave. So there's the, the, the a sound wave which will propagate this one. So what mic does, it will convert mechanical sound wave. When the person speaks, mechanical sound will come. That when goes and strike, it will be converted into the AC signal. And that AC signal through a wire, it will be connected to a first and audio amplifier. Do you remember audio amplifiers? made up of transistor audio amplifier. Why audio amplifier? Because so here what happened, I'll get a signal. The signal will be of order millivolt. This is called like a audio signal. Baseband or message signal. So what is the frequency? This will be 20 hertz to 20 kilos. No? So and this is a mechanical and this is an AC signal, message signal or it's an AC signal which carries information. This is what like and how it will be in the form of electrical signal and what is of order? Few millivolt. Okay, first before that, uh, what do you mean by audio range? Because we'll be using this. 20 years to 20 kilos. So what Mike does, it will convert mechanical sound wave into electrical AC signal. That, that's what the duty of Mike. Okay, click this one. So first, what is audio range? 20 years to 20 kilos. Then uh, the speech, what is the range of speech? So most of the human speech, what we have, it will range from 20 years to 5 kilo hours. Then music. It will, it will be ranging almost from, you can put it 20 hertz to, to 20 kilohertz. This is what happens here. The speech what we speak, no? 20 hertz to 5 kilohertz. Suppose if you're speaking, speaking at even 6 kilohertz possible, on an average I'm putting that one. 5 kilohertz means clarity will be more, higher frequency. 100, 200, 300, clarity will be less. Like that, even the audio range, the speech and music. Music, there's no, like anything from 20 to 20. So I'll generate a, I'll construct musical instrument where frequency is more than 20 kilohertz. You can't hear it because that's the audio range, no? what we can call, where it's audible things for you. And then the, what mic does, first the mic will go for property of mic. It converts. mechanical into electrical AC signal. And what is the strength of this very low of order millivolt? I'll give to audio amplifier. So since amplifier used to increase the strength of audio signals, I'll call this as audio amplifier. 
okay the, from this it is given to modulated so the, the the signal after getting amplified audio signal will be there so then i'll take an i frequency signal so this call like a carrier carrier wave or anything so th this is a audio wave or audio signal or this also called as modulating signal okay fine so th this will be given this one so what this modulator will mix up these two so shall i say this is the speech audio signal means similar to open this is the information song music anything so nearby it, you write it song this has to be of low frequency how much 20 and this of higher frequency high frequency carrier wave this this can be of 20 kilos 1 megahertz 200 megahertz anything but this is this should be the frequency how much audio signal 20 years to 20 kilos only carrier can be of anything we can pick up modulator what this will do it will what this modulator will do will see that this information will be embedded in the carrier what do you mean by that uh, sir we are not getting how do we can put please ma those have entered class please mute it no <coughs> mute mute and then then enter into the class after entering please mute it don't sit like that only almost 10 15 students i'm muting the first 10 5 15 minutes now i to concentrate on muting please all enter into class try check it check it your button no please mute it okay this is about the audio signal modulating signal so what is this i think uh, let's do one thing what is this audio signal carries information like i, I wrote song okay now all of you i think you are aware of the greeting card the greeting card so what what actually happens in the greeting card okay this is the envelope will be there no and, and first this will be greeting card okay then i am going to send greetings to the my wife so i'll write it. dear wife okay how are you what about when you'll come back i'm missing you a lot i think this is the information no what will write it how are you when you will come back hmm? i miss you a lot i think these are the technical emotional words nowadays we use very commonly hmm? no this is the so tell me like what is the information my my feelings no my emotions and what i'm doing i'm converting that in the form of text and that i'm writing <coughs> on the greeting card okay clear this this one now shall i directly give this to courier everyone will read no everyone will read so therefore what i do i'm going to put this in envelope i'll put in envelope so the, the, this is the envelope now th th this is the audio signal or modulating signal what you can call and, and there's a carrier so tell me like who will carry that greeting card this envelope only the similar way what happen i am going what i am going to do is like i am going to put this envelope in that one after putting this Then, then the it will it will appear like this. Now, what this envelope carries now? This envelope carries that greeting card. So the greeting card where it is now? Now it will be. So shall I say that this is called like a this particular putting up of greeting card, which this is the information audio signal or information. What is the envelope? Envelope is just a carrier, no? this one this process of putting the greeting card in envelope is called as modulation and now what we have the envelope with greeting card or envelope carries the information so this call like a modulated wave this call like a modulating signal there is a carrier this call like a modulating signal so what is again there is a ac signal but it's a greeting card carries information so 
the information which carries uh, the signal which carries information are called modulating signal message signal or ac signal okay get, getting uh, the, the, these terms are <coughs> message signal or ac or baseband or message signal so different books they use different terms often confusion for you often confusion so i'm just writing everything audio model what is the audio the song i wrote uh, somewhere here so if you are not getting the song the song in the form of electrical signal is nothing but called we call audio modulating baseband message or that ac signal whatever you want to call that one hmm? that is what the information that this greeting card i'm going to put in envelope then we'll carry that one this process of putting greeting card in envelope is called as modulation now what we get modulated carrier wave this envelope contains greeting cards similarly what happened the envelope contains greeting card so same thing here the carrier now contains so what is the carrier so now the carrier what happen contains the this one so look at this the amplitude of carrier no the amplitude of carrier is varying i'll i'll draw it in proper way and what we are doing the amplitude of carrier now will vary as that of modulating signal no so i have modulated it so this will be given to now i frequency amplifier why i frequency this is a i frequency now this will be given to antenna uh, what is antenna we, we just show like this here so after that we'll get a signal here roughly that one so and here the signal will be given to antenna what antenna does when any ac signal passes through antenna it, it converts ac signal into em wave will i agree this <coughs> i think now we have some better picture of em wave okay there is a e bar there is a b bar and here is what the wave will propagate so what antenna does converts i think mike got on so i'll i'll introduce the antenna huh? what is the antenna converts ac signal to already i discussed in em wave chapter when you pass through that particular rod no there there because of that retardation of the charged particle or the aggregation of charged particle so then then electrical signal the electrical energy will be converted into electromagnetic one that that's what the antenna does converts ac energy to electromagnetic energy or ac signal to em wave or vice versa hmm? instead of this e bar b bar you can show wave like a wave front it's left you this em wave now what happened this is called as a medium or called as a channel it will propagate in air or in atmosphere anything can be that one <coughs> exists so it starts propagating so now now this called a channel medium a particular thing so now as it propagates then this everything is called a transmitting station so what i put it here transmitter because we have transmitted example the fm station it's a transmitter that one so now we are sitting at home and we do listen for Uh, the our radio signals so they will propagate some distance no? and that particular medium in which they propagate is called a channel medium or called as a channel that one now, now here what happened the lot of interference i'm using word interference or disturbance the noise will get added up so i'll introduce something noise hmm? so what do you mean by basically a noise here so it's an a, a, it's an a signal which will be of audio range and the noise will be
they they nothing call like a anything that one so it will be very random it will be varying so from where this noise will come by all the sources so here also the mic will add some noise when you are amplifying some noise when electrons move through a wire that call like a white noise so it will be generated uh, transistor when electric current is flowing through transistor resistor capacitor connecting wires everything everywhere the noise will get added up even when doing this modulation operation then i frequency amplifier even when current is flowing through the antenna noise and again when the wave is propagating the atmosphere will add noise to this one so like that in every part of communication one of the other form of noise will get added up so what is a noise no noise is an an unwanted is a signal that gets added to communication system in every mode or in every step i'll write it everywhere like the mic also my what is the duty of mic it should convert the sound wave to ac signal along with that there'll be a particular thing i think now you are listening you are getting some noise here no i think when i'm speaking and some some background noise is getting generated so is i'm generating no i'm just speaking from where it has come maybe it is from my mic or the laptop inside or the due to the internet cable or maybe you are in in your mobile or laptop the headphones or in your laptop it can be anything so that's why i am using noise cancelling headphones in spite of that what happened now there is no problem with my headphones maybe from my laptop no in fact i am using usb noise cancelling so then from where it is coming from the and if you are also using everyone is having same common problem everyone is having near miss maybe the internet connectivity is adding that particular noise or the zoom software so everywhere what happen the noise will get added up and what is your uh, the design the design should be such that it should be minimized here we can't tell me it should be minimized here it's unwanted signal everywhere it gets added up here and you see that the frequency amplitude is totally unpredictable how is our, how is our voice our voice will vary in one particular order like this to so this if you had noise no you get lot of disturbance i think uh, you might have seen televisions or especially fm station once you start <coughs> going away from the range then you can get a noise very clearly no i think in fm i think if you have most of you in mobile no today you can try that so 90 99 megahertz that give frequency once you move away from 99 make it uh, 88. or 99.1 99.2 like that as you start moving away from that frequency allotted frequency you can see that some noise will get added up that's what i mean to say no an unwanted ac signal it is that gets added to communications in every step here even even ear also channel here from where that most peer the the wind will blow the distortion that, that will get added up here even the electromagnetic wave propagating the ac signal will get added up to this one okay find this one so because of that what happen the noise because of noise everything the amplitude of this em wave keeps on decreases ideally speaking it should not happen but practically what happen due to the uh, the em wave will be absorbed by the medium especially of this radio frequencies so as it propagate the amplitude decreases the process of decrease in amplitude is called as attenuation the amplitude of em wave decreases as it propagates due to losses that losses are many things sir Let, let's not bother here this particular process called as the attenuation the decrease in amplitude of em wave as it propagates due to losses is called as the attenuation so it get attenuated so as the wave propagates it gets attenuated attenuated means the amplitude decreases amplitude decreases the strength will decrease then so what happened the signal if it is of weak signal we cannot hear it properly if i decrease volume and if i speak at very very low 
volume then you can you can hardly hear it it's not that intentionally i am attenuating i am decreasing volume like that what happen the during transmission generation and receiving what happen <coughs> the signal will get attenuated who will absorb this the medium this particular wires they'll get eaten up no when current flows i square r losses all that are responsible in in transmitting station also though we are transmitting some energy will be lost here antenna what happen it should generate even the antenna made up of copper wire so it will also get generated so i'll give hundred watt in which what happen 90 watt it transmit where the 10 watt gone will be taken by the antenna itself i square r losses so that everything what happen is comes under category of attenuation but we are more bothered about then the medium or the channel when it is propagating from fm station to the wave till your mobile that medium will absorb that energy that is called a attenuation it is used very specifically for that purpose this is about the transmitting station so in the receiving station what will happen here transmitting receiving station or it just called as receiver who is the receiver if you are hearing to mobile if you are hearing to mobile uh, so if you are using to fm songs everything no your mobile is called like now a receiving station or a receiver it become what all it contain the first thing it should have an antenna it should collect the waves so how the wave th this will be em wave this em wave when it comes and strike the antenna it will convert that into ac signal so since it has propagated larger distance so most of the energy will be very less so therefore i will give this to high frequency amplifier so what it does it will increase the strength of the signal then this will be given to demodulator circuit demodulator what do you mean by demodulator okay i sent a now message to my wife no so what what she should do she should collect that <coughs> envelope okay that antenna that one so my wife what happens she will open that envelope Now tell me what is information is the greeting card what i written information or the envelope what she should do she should throw this envelope into dustbin and she she should read the greeting card here so the demodulator same thing does what it will do it will remove the greeting card from the envelope it will process the information so the demodulator circuit what it does it will so here, here what it does it will extract only the information what is the information the information is this one no longer that ac signal with it so it will be like this better okay don't show that red color one this is the audio signal how that envelope is what the red color carrier inside that what happened there is a greeting card is there so i should take the greeting card envelope i'll put in dustbin okay then after this this will be given to audio amplifier then this will be given to okay loud speaker here here what i am getting i am getting an ac signal Let, let's see that one and what it converts it will convert this into a sound wave what loud speaker it it converts ac signal to it converts ac signal to sound wave okay this is all process this is a receiving station here demodulator means what it does it will collect back the audio signal from the <coughs> modulated wave okay get this so now this is again here there is a channel or medium where the wave propagate now what do you mean by range i'll be using word this everything i'll call as a transmitter
and and this is a receiver no the distance from the transmitter to the receiver is called as a range the distance that one it can be few kilometers to few hundred or even it can be few thousand suppose a fm station it will be a few few tens few 10 40 50 km if the television it will go up to even 1000 km then if it's a long distance communication then go to up to few, several thousand kilometers here or extra terrestrial communication it will go up to several thousand or several lakhs km so this this is the medium or channel it, it can be anything huh? now now how the wave the signal will get transmitted so there are many methods are there no i can use what are the medium here what pen i am choosing a system the atmosphere the atmosphere of the earth is a medium which will transfer i can also use the ground so what are the channels channel it can be channel what it can be it can be atmosphere of earth next who can be that one surface of the earth then i i can use the like atmosphere of earth surface of the earth i can we can use coaxial cable we like this so these are the different things available for us atmosphere of earth means ionosphere ionosphere layer surface of the the ground coaxial cable all of you know i think cable now what you get that <coughs> the cable cable uh, So the dish cable, what we call, or the telephone cable, or the for internet, what we are using now, this was the coaxial cable that one, or we have fiber optic, fiber optic cable. So these are the different channel or medium through which what happen, that particular wave I can make it to propagate here. Then this one. So if I use <coughs> the surface of the earth. to transmit the signals from one point to another point that will become ground wave propagation go this idea then if i use ionosphere layer of the earth then that i'll call sky wave propagation then then if if it directly the signal radiated by the antenna if it directly goes here then that will become a ground wave propagation then will become line of sight propagation so now what are the types of communication we we'll discuss i think uh, better to mm, yeah Well, I'll, I'll give one good diagram so that what we are going to study it be easy for you. So I'll I'll be using the transmitting station. <coughs> so it will have antenna. This is a receiving station. then what are the different types of communication so there is a earth atmosphere so the, the one mode i can send a rays they'll get reflected or i can send directly rays from one antenna to another antenna or i can also send a rays Okay, here I know sphere. Here, here what will happen? The line of sight directly from one antenna to another antenna. Then the rays will go to one layer of the atmosphere of the Earth and get reflected, and this is a ground. Or we can also do one thing: we can connect a direct cable, no, from here to here. These are the various modes are there, no? so what 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 to be our discussion the types of propagation types of wave propagation in the first one what pen i'll go for ground ground wave propagation where the wave will propagate on the surface of the earth got the idea no so this i'll be using the range so range means the distance from the transmitting to receiving station how far the wave can propagate when i say the channel medium so immediately those words should flash here 
Now, if you look at the anxiety, one more word he has brought it. What is that? He is saying that transducer. So what is the transducer? Which converts, which converts energy from one form to another form. Tell me like where all transducers are there. Shall we call mic as a transducer? It will convert sound to AC signal. Agree this. Then we do have amplifier also which will convert DC to AC. Then come for this again here. Even this amplifier also convert DC energy to AC energy. What about antenna? Converts AC signal to EM wave. Got this. So what all we have? Mic, amplifier and antenna. Then at the receiving station, the antenna will convert the EM wave to AC signal. So there's also transducer. Again, amplifiers are there. Then again, we have loudspeaker, which will convert the AC signal to the sound wave. So therefore, what are the transducers? Good example of transducer, which converts energy from one form to another form. Here in our discussion, it is mic, antenna, even the amplifier. Or shall I put, shall I add more things? The bulb. What bulb will do? Will convert electrical to heat energy. No? And the heat energy will convert into light energy. Like that, we do have transducers in our entire world. Our whole world what man, will revolve around transducer only. Our skin, what skin will do? Will convert light energy into the heat energy. I think we have various forms now. It's all about this transducer only. Like a, what we discussed, my canteen amplifier are transducer. But in general, if you start going, no, a good examples, the screen, what all I'm now, this writing pad, what you have, vacuum pad, what I'm having. So what it does, here I'm using EM wave technology. So what all is scribble and so electromagnetic technology that is used here and that'll be transferred. And the screen, good example, which will display things using electrical energy. So like this happened, everything is a transducer here. Nothing is that one. What all do you see? It's everything is a transducer. Even your home building, what it does. It will convert light energy into heat energy. It will warm up. <laughs> Fine. So uh, which converts energy from one form to another form. In our discussion, what we are doing, my cantina amplifier. This is something very important. Uh, possibility of asking in mains. Huh? Which are all transducers, you will ask you. You 